YouTube, what's good? What's going on? Which is your girl Simba, and it's time for another reaction, okay? We finished to react to another animal video, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all love these, I love these, we all love these, okay? Before we get into it, bruh, catch this intro. <laughs> So look here, um, y'all really been loving the animal reactions, the animal video reactions. I really mess with them too. You know what I'm saying? I have a fun time learning some new stuff. So this video is 30 biggest animals ever captured. Now this random, this video was randomly in my recommended, but I definitely want to check it out. Um, so we're going to check it out together. Before we do that, make sure you're liking the video, subscribing if you're new. Um, we're trying to reach 130K. It'd be greatly appreciated. Um, and I'll turn on notifications if you don't want to miss any future uploads. And then come over to Twitch if you ever want to watch these live. But with that being said, let's get into this, man. Let's uh let's see these 30 biggest animals, man. Golly. That's a Some turtle? animals are huge, but that doesn't mean they're easy to find. In fact, many of the giant animals are ah, damn, that's a dog? Nah, nigga, that's a horse. This is a horse. Oh my god. About to see have very little information. Oh my god. That's because they like hiding way too much. That's why we compiled some of the freakiest and weird looking creatures for you. Hey, thank you for the so, bits. It's make sure you subscribe and hit that little black. bell icon for guaranteed safety from these massive creatures. Here are 30 of the largest animals ever caught on camera. Shit. Giant lion. Nah, Some people are born big. daredevils and don't ever shy away from danger. Just like this man who has been so used to being around lions that when he had to encounter a whopping 660 pound lion, even if he's used to them, imagine being near a lion almost as big as you. You never know when these beasts might get angry. Golly. Huge swan. Damn! Nah, bro. Did I ever? I, t I told y'all about the time I was attacked by, like, I was almost attacked by a crane, right? Dumb shits. Nah, this dumb shit. That shit. How is a swan almost as big as the crane, bro? Oh, ain't no way. When it comes to swans, they're notorious for attacking whenever they like. But when this huge one approached a woman just adoring swan chicks, she thought it was best to run for her life than to admire nature's wonders. Hell Not no. just that. Yo! Just look at how angry it is. Oh my God! Look at yo. Boy, look at how big that shit is. Run for her life than to admire nature's wonders. Not just- Nah, bruh. That shit is almost as tall as her. Its neck is not even fully extended. Oh, hell What's no. that? Just look at how angry it is, too. <laughs> Manta Ray. Gentle giants usually live in the sea. And this poor manta ray got stuck in a net. It would have died if it weren't for the beachgoers who helped the ray get back into the water. Considering its size, it took about six people to lift it up and push it back into the water. Whew, what a rescue. Giant snail. Oh, hell no. Boy, what? A gardener's worst nightmare is snails, but that's probably because they never knew about giant African snails. Moreover, they're actually illegal in some places. They were so annoying and unwanted that the U.S. government spent a million dollars just to eradicate them. They're not too dangerous, but if you're squeamish, seeing this gooey creature would easily scare you. Big Fish This sunfish probably makes you think of an elegant and easy-flowing fish, but you'd be wrong. They're actually humongous creatures Yo! and go through the most extreme size growth of any Bro, do you, bro, look at the size. This is a full grown man. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. Vertebrate. Yeah. These divers had the er, pleasure of meeting this open mouthed and vertical finned fish. They look like little toys in front of the fish. Just another reason to stay out of the ocean. Oh, God. Brown bear. Some giant hey, same, animals are seen by accident, while others are stars. Take Brody the bear, for example. Shit. 
This Kodiak bear was born huge when he was just eight weeks old. He weighs almost 10 pounds. He was on the cover of National Geographic magazine. Moreover, he also got to spend a day with Muhammad Ali and also got to travel the world. Can you believe a giant bear is living our dream life? Muhammad uh. Ali giant otters. Regular otters are very cute. In fact, they even hold hands when they swim. But giant otters are a whole different breed. Remember the caimans we told you about? Well, this family of otters defeated a huge one in a gruesome fight. If they can fight this monster, imagine what they can do oh, to humans. Oh, now they about <laughs> They about to jump that nigga, bro. They like, nah, come in the water, bro. Ain't nobody finna touch you, bro. Come in the water, bro. Ain't nobody finna touch you, bro. You know what I'm saying? We just trying to see what's up. Ain't nobody finna touch you, bro. With nobody finna touch you. <laughs> in a gruesome fight. Come in the water, nigga. If they can fight this monster, imagine what they can do to humans. To top it all off, they have amazing teamwork skills, making them all the deadlier. God damn. Giant spider. Ah. Goliath bird eater. That's the name of this spider. If that doesn't tell you how this spider is, then let us tell you. This uh. creepy crawler has an 11 inch leg span and is a deadly venom a rat? that kills the- Oh, it's eating a rat. It's eating a rat. It's eating a rat. It's eating a, oh, oh my God. God, it's a Whew. Organs of its victims. This one right here gobbles down an unsuspecting lizard to satisfy its hunger. You can see how it hunts in action now. Black caiman. Fuck no. Crocodiles are scary enough on their own, but you haven't seen their cousin on steroids. We present to you the black caiman. A couple of tourists found a gigantic 13-foot caiman resting underwater. They weren't tepid enough to go into the water and disturb it, so they used a selfie stick to film underwater. The largest one ever caught was about 20 feet long, but this one is an incredible runner-up too. Boy. Giant centipede. Oh, fuck no, fuck no, fuck no, fuck no, fuck no. That's where I draw the line. Um, Y'all can watch this. I'm gonna go get some tissue. I draw the line at centipede. That's where I'm done. Four legs are fine, because that could be a puppy, right? But anything more than that, spiders, beetles, and well, giant centipedes of our beloved Amazon. This guy is just letting it walk all over him. But does he know that they have sharp claws in their head filled with venom that can paralyze a human in seconds? Coconut crab. Fuck that, I had to go. Whoa! Coconut crabs are the largest land-dwelling Whoa! I'm at, hey, listen, 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 but listen, but listen, but listen, but listen. Imagine boiling this bitch with some butter. Oh my god, that thing go. Listen, listen. Crab legs for days. We having a fucking boil, okay? Listen, listen. Cause listen, cause listen, cause listen. Throw that bitch in a pot. We good, okay? Look at the claw on this shit. Ashley, come here. I can't even eat these pieces. Come here. Just look at the claw. Centipede clips for cringe comp. Majin, I will dead ass fight you. Look at the claw on this shit. That's the whole claw. Oh my god. That shit is nuts. Big meaty claws. <laughs> Damn. Coconut crabs are the largest land-dwelling crustaceans on Earth. And this is just plain proof. Other than size, they're also yeah. very fast. But don't worry, they're not too keen on human flesh. They look like coconuts, no wonder their claws are so thick. They like coconuts, no wonder their claws are so thick. The only thing you- Ain't no way he just said that. He ain't edit, he ain't edit correctly. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Cause he said that twice. Yeah, want but don't worry, they're not too keen on human <laughs> flesh. They look like coconuts, no wonder their claws are so thick. They like coconuts, no wonder their claws are so thick. The <laughs> only thing you should be worried about is their cannibalistic instincts. Sometimes, they'll eat their own discarded limbs or their own kind, all to survive. What? Tortoise. You like cocoa <laughs> If this tortoise wasn't moving, you'd mistake it for a big boulder. This is another one of nature's gentle giants. 
However, unfortunately, yeah. only a few of them are alive today. A few centuries ago, there were hundreds of thousands, but Damn. now only a saddening 15 are left. What? A fully grown tortoise can grow up to six feet long and almost a thousand pounds. Imagine having to carry them. Giant green anaconda. Can you Yo, I saw, I just, I just saw this video. I just saw this video, bro. This shit is ridiculous, bro. Nigga said that's a Pokemon. <laughs> I just saw this video, bro. That shit was, yo, uh, yo, listen, that movie Anaconda ain't no joke, bro. Anaconda. I ain't gonna hold you, though. I'm not scared of snakes until they get too big. I had a six tat. I no joke. I had a six foot snake. Okay, I had a six foot. I had a a a, a six foot python. I had a a I had a like a, a three foot ball python, and then I had a six foot one. I would hold the six foot one like um two to three times, but you know, what I'm saying I'm assuming you raised it right. Well, it wasn't really me raising it. It was my mom's ex-boyfriend. It was his snake. The smaller one was mine. The smaller one was mine. Um, but I I, I took care of the, the smaller one personally. But I, I held the bigger one from time to time. Simba, you bugging? I mean, I ain't had no problem with snakes. Like, I literally used to walk down the street with a snake. I remember I walked into the store one time and I went, I had a snake around my neck and she was just chilling. You know what I'm saying? And I'm buying shit and I get to the front and I'm paying for it. And a guy's ringing me up and all of a sudden he sees her start moving. He's like, oh, you gotta, you gotta go outside. You get <laughs> Yo, he was panicking. That nigga was panicking, bro. I had to have somebody else pay for my shit. But nah, I used to, yeah, nah, that was, that was my... That was probably one of my favorite animals, besides my dog, Remy, and Sia. Yeah, so it'd probably go from, like, two. I had two favorite dogs back then, and then I, it was my pet snake. I had mad dogs, but those were my favorite animals. You know what I'm saying? Basically, Jurassic Park. Can you... Listen, I'm not going to hold y'all. I literally... I had a whole... Like, literally, niggas used to call my house a zoo. Because I had, I had three... At one point, I had three dogs... Well, I so only one lived in the house. The other two lived in the backyard and shit. But like they, cause they were too big to be in the house. Like they were fucking huge. Like, like little, like. And then I had a, we had a, a, a big ass fish tank with um, they were called Oscars, and they're like they're like in the piranha family. They're um, they call Oscars. We had mad Oscars with algae fish and shit in there. I used to watch them eat goldfish. It was crazy. And then I had two snakes. And I think that was it. Did I have a bear? Nah. Did you have a bear as a pet too rolling on the floor I'm laughing? I'm trying to think if we had any other animals. Honestly, to be honest, there was at a point where my snake wasn't eating. So we technically had a pet rat. Because, like, we didn't just want it to die. So we had to feed it, like, um, like little pellets. Like little, um, like, hamster pellets. So I technically had a pet rat at a point. I wasn't touching it, but we was feeding it because the snake didn't eat it for like a month. You know what I'm saying? But then he ate it, so. <laughs> he was saving room to eat you. Hey, relax, relax, relax. <laughs> Anaconda. Can you bolt through the water like Usain? Unfortunately, Bruh, this you giant green that anaconda shit? can. When we say giant, we mean 30 feet in length and 550 pounds. Other than that, they have a bite force of 400 PSI, Jeez. enough to crush a jaguar into mush. Just look at how it was lurking around in the water. In there, they're invincible. Bruh. If you ever encounter one, run to land, because that's where they're weak. That is, if they don't already have you in a chokehold. Bruh. Hell Bull. no. <laughs> Damn, look at his horns. The pleasures of city life are that you don't have to deal with pesky animals. Unless you live near this couple who are crazy enough to keep this jaw-dropping 1,600-pound Ankola Watusi bull as a pet. What the They're known fuck? for their huge horns that can be used to stab a person right in the stomach, but only if you don't train them well. Moose. Yo. Yo. Chat, I'm not gonna hold you. Moose? I did not know they were as big as they fucking are. 
I saw a video of two m moose, like, fighting. And I'm like, yo, them shits are fucking huge. I thought they were, like, the regular, like, the size of deer. Nah, them niggas is huge. <laughs> Huge. Moose are huge animals, and we knew that. I didn't know that for a while. But just how but big I just they recently... are is what the internet did not know until they saw this video. A man was driving in Anchorage Bruh. in Alaska and saw this huge moose walking in the middle of the road. To put things into perspective, look at how titan-like it looks when a car passes by. Bruh. Big Hell Jake, no. largest horse. Hell no. The average size of a Belgian horse is about 68 inches. Yeah, One of them broke damn. all expectations and jumped to a whopping 82 inches. Big Jake became famous all over the world in 2010, after he was crowned with the tallest horse in the world by Guinness World Record. Despite its huge size, the horse is still elegant as ever. Now, this honorable horse lives in retirement, probably munching on the best hay out here in Poinette, Wisconsin. What the fuck? Before we move on, here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Huge pig. There are very few people that find pigs cute or even pettable. But once you look at this huge, gross-looking pig, you won't look at them the same way. This pig was eaten by the farmer, Chen Chang Sung, who raised him. This one weighed a whopping 2,118 pounds. The reason this pig was so fat isn't that it's some sort of genetic disorder. He was just really lazy. He'd eat and just nap. Shoe bill store. Biggest set of year one, one year worth of bacon. They saying bacon on top. <laughs> what you trying to do with that? Bacon on top, you know what I'm saying? Give me some pork chops. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me get that. You said couch potato pig? Listen, I would sprinkle the bacon bits on my baked potato. Do you feel me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nah, them things, I think those, I think these birds are so creepy. The first bro. thought that comes to anyone's head when they look at this bird is, wow, right. that's an ugly bird. Bro, I think them shits are so creepy. Let's go beyond looks here. It's apparently five feet tall with a wingspan of six and a half feet. Oh, Fuck it has a no. weird death stare that'll scare you right off. But the worst of all is its huge beak that acts as a deadly spear. Huge sheep. When some animals are left alone, they thrive. Not Sheila the sheep though. This sheep ran away for a year or two until someone discovered it on the side of the road. That's when the original owner saw Sheila in her 48 pound wool coat. The farmer thought it would break the world record. However, he miscalculated a little. But still, what a weird phenomenon. God damn. Big Harpy Eagle. You can a bald always eagle is sheep. very well known. <laughs> After all, it's the national bird of the US. But the lesser known cousin is the Harpy Eagle. This giant- <laughs> That nigga said- bird of the US, but the lesser known cousin is the harpy eagle. This giant beast was caught by two farmers after it kept munching and gobbling down on their livestock. God damn. They're the largest eagles in the world with five inch long claws. So obviously they have a big appetite. Hell no. When they're hungry, they can prey on species as big as monkeys, sloths, and even deer. Damn. Have you ever thought a bird could do that? Bald eagle. look at please look at how these fucking things is walking though bro <laughs> look at how it walks bald eagle <laughs> there's no way we talk about the big harpy eagle without talking about its cousin known for its bright white plumage brown body and hooked yellow beak the bald eagle is most often seen swooping low and catching a fish with its powerful claws. That's crazy but how I can see that shit. These niggas is top tier fishermen, bro. What you don't see often is it hunting squirrels or rabbits in cities. This big guy was caught on tape munching down its Yo! catch right in front of this building in Brooklyn, New York. Look how calm it is going about its business, not minding the onlookers. 
A bald eagle's wings measure about two meters or seven feet. That's more than the height of an average 17 year old boy. Wonder how long this eagle's wings measure? Goliath frog. Giant isn't a word you'd use to describe Ew! a frog, but with the Goliath frog, things are what they used to be. Imagine finding one of these in your room. I totally Yo, freak I'd, out. I'd fuck, I lose my shit. I lose my mind. Frog legs? You eating those? They look like something you'd get if a witch transformed a prince into a frog. I wouldn't want to kiss one of them to find out though. They are the largest frog species in the world. You could find one of these in African countries like Cameroon, where Mr. Andy J. Frogman Kaufman got his and aims to breed the largest one on the planet. This one is probably way too domesticated. The poor lad can pick up a worm lying right in front of him. You could keep these critters as pets because they don't make those annoying mating sounds other frogs make. Kane Carso. Yo, that nigga, oh, that's a fucking horse. What would you do if you were standing next to a 110 pound drool dripping dog? Shit. Well, unlike you and many others, this kid is patting the dog on its back. Lucky for me, it's their family dog and Kane Corso seem to be good with kids. Check out how big the dog's head is compared to the kids. If I ever come across one of those, I'll keep a safe distance. God damn. Tibetan Mastiff. My dog, my dog is mixed. He's a uh, pit bull and bull mastiff. So he's mixed with it. Nah, King Carso's, they're so sweet. They are, they are. My dog is missing mastiff. Bro, mastiffs are so fucking big. Think King Carso are big? Nah. Wait till I introduce you to its competitor, the Tibetan Mastiffs. This guy has even outgrown its cage. It looks like a man putting on a Scooby-Doo costume. Shit. When standing on their hind legs, they could be as tall Shit. as a full-grown man. Imagine pissing its owner off and then running into this bear-looking Tibetan Mastiff. Okay, stop imagining. It's gonna be horrible. Shit. What if you had to walk one of these dogs and Never. it sees a squirrel or something it likes? Oh my God. It then becomes a case of who is walking yeah, who. Deal. On the bright side, they are lovely dogs and make a great cuddle buddy. Largest pig. Since we're talking about giant domestic animals, let's introduce you to the 1300 pound pig named Tickle Me Elmo 3. Yeah. This pig was the winner at a pig weighing championship in Indiana. The pig weighs as much as an Indy car. Unfortunately, Tickle Me Elmo lost the following contest to another hog that weighed in at a little over 1300 pounds. Uh, but it might just be time for him to retire to its farm and eat all the ground corn it can find. God damn, bro. Largest bat. Is it stuck? Did they do that? With wings as wide as the stretch of both arms, claws that are well adapted for clinging, and a face that looks that of a dog, we humans are lucky that the rumors that bats suck human blood are false. Right. The flying foxes, as they are called, are bats that feed mainly on fruits and plant leaves. The largest wingspan recorded was 1.7 meters. A true fact about them, however, is that they are the only mammals that have a true flight. Let's just hope for our sakes, these bats don't keep evolving to a stage where they'll need to live up to their rumored menaces. Yo. Largest lizards. Komodo dragon, right? What if we woke up and all the common lizards we have somehow transformed into these enormous ravenous poison drooling monsters? Ah, we would have a lizard Armageddon on our hands. Luckily for us, these lizards are endemic to an island in Indonesia with a bite force of about 600 PSI. They could reduce a goat to mush. The largest ever recorded was 10 feet long and weighed 366 uh, yeah, pounds. Dragons. To think that they'd eat something as big as a buffalo, you'd agree that Good humans are Lord. on the menu. Their tails also serve as a defense mechanism that hits as hard as a baseball bat. God damn. Leatherback. For a turtle to make all these people look small, it has to be humongous. Look at how slowly it uses its flippers to carry its half a ton body as it makes it half to the sea. Ton, Check out how small this man measures lying next to it. They are expert divers, but on land, they are quite vulnerable and extremely slow. They have the capacity to grow up to 2,000 pounds, depending on how old they are. Damn. Largest crocodile. Oh my God, Jesus. Meet Lapu Lapu, the biggest crocodile from Cebu, Philistines. 
Look at how gigantic this beast is. It is so huge, it could swallow a man whole. Lapu-Lapu may be big, but he isn't the biggest recognized croc in the world. The record for the largest crocodile in captivity is held by Cassius, the 5.48 meters long croc that lives in marine land Melanesia, Australia. It weighs close to a ton and is one of the most fearsome of today's species. Yo, largest no. tiger. Bro, no. If they were to be a tiger to dwarf the Siberian tiger, it had to be the Gondong tiger from a place that seems to have the largest of species endemic in it, Indonesia. They weigh about 300 kilograms to 350 kilograms, 600 pounds to Lord, 770 <laughs> pounds, twice the weight of an average Siberian tiger. They existed in the Sundaland region of Indonesia during the Pleistocene epoch. With the Gondong tiger now extinct, we are left with our current champion, the Siberian tiger. That's Damn. a wrap for 20 of the largest animals ever caught on camera. Which one of these freaked you out the most? Let us know in the comments dirty, below. Okay. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Forever Green for more mind-blowing videos like this. See you in the next one. Good lord. Nah, them shits was big, bro. If I ever come, come across any, I'ma just pass out. I'ma just pass out, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's it, bro. I just can't. I can't. They're too big, bro. They're too big, bro. That pig, though, I'm going to need some bacon. Boy, yeah. damn. Like, listen, listen, because listen. <laughs> this nigga said I won't even pass out. I die. Bro, on God. But listen, um, y'all go ahead and say bye to YouTube. Listen, YouTube. Um, If you like this video, go ahead and show some love to it by hitting that like button. Uh, Shit. Damn, shit. I hit the wrong thing. Yeah. Um, But uh, subscribe if you haven't already. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Turn on notifications if you don't want to miss any future uploads. And then come over to Twitch if you ever want to be in the chat live. You know what I'm saying? While we watch these videos. But with that being said, me and the Twitch babies, we up out of here. Are they saying bye to you. So, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you say bye to them in the comment section. Like and subscribe for years worth of bacon. You heard the man. You heard the thing. You know what I'm saying? Years worth. You can't beat that. But we up out of here. Y'all have a good one, man. Peace.